win BravoCon 2023 in Las Vegas. I'm SD Cup here at the BravoVerse live stage, and whether you're watching us on Peacock or BravoTV.com or any of the Bravo socials, you will not miss a thing. This is going to be the best weekend ever. Yes. Ever. Ever. Uh, I can't believe who's sitting here on this stage with me. As you know, I am joined alongside a supergroup filled with diamonds, snowflakes, peaches, oranges, cherry blossoms, apples, and more. Presenting every city in the franchise, please welcome the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, Kyle Richards. The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City's Lisa Barlow. The Real Housewives of Dubai's Lisa Milan. The Real Housewives of Potomac's Wendy Osefo. The Real Housewives of Atlanta's Sonia Richards Ross. The Real Housewives of Orange County's Gina Kirschenheider. The Real Housewives of Miami's Larsa Pippen. The Real Housewives of New Jersey's Danielle Cabral. And the Real Housewives of New York City's Uba Hassan. <laughs> okay, um, how iconic is it that we are here in Vegas for BravoCon? Insane. Could so it be insane. anywhere else? No. no. I mean, exactly. where else but Sin City would you bring a bunch of Bravo lebs? Because we are sinners, all of us. <laughs> I mean, who was psyched when they got the call, BravoCon's going to be in Vegas this year, not New York? Yeah, I yeah, love yeah, it, because it's only 45 Vegas. minutes from LA, so it's like a hop, skip, <laughs> and a jump. I met my husband in Vegas. Nice. Oh, Jackpot. Jackpot. I need to know that story. Yes, yes. Okay, so we've got good, we've got good Vegas vibes. Um, does anyone here have a good casino game of choice? A favorite? Yes, Uba. Yes. Poker. 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 Oh, okay. They, you got to meet me on the craps table. It's oh, do you like to lose a lot of money at craps too? No, I don't lose. Okay, All I, I do, do is win, 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 <laughs> no matter what. Yes. yes. So you can meet me in the shops. <laughs> You're in the shops. Okay, okay. Wheel of Fortune. Anyone playing fortune roulette? Spot. The Wheel of Fortune that slot. I'm a sucker. Wheel of Fortune. That's safer. I like yeah. blackjack myself. Um, Danielle, this is your first BravoCon. Yeah, my first. How's it going? Well, so far, so good. I love it. It's a lot of fun. I mean, this is wild. Have you been to anything like this? No, never. No, and it's nice. I just want to say we've, we're coming off filming Jersey 14. It is so nice to be around love right now. Honestly, it is appreciated. So this is great. Okay, good. And Uba, this is your first BravoCon since filming, since the season wrapped. Um, what's the difference between this one and the first one where you hadn't really, no one had seen your show yet? Yeah, the first one we just got shoved in, yeah. showed and like left. Yeah. But yesterday I arrived very early in the morning and I got to meet so many of you guys. <laughs> and it was so much fun, yeah. Until like two in the morning, Kyle yes. and I we were going to our room, like just couldn't even walk. I mean, you're a famous model. Do you have fans like this no, in the modeling no, world? Absolutely. Bravo yeah. is the best fun ever. <laughs> and Lisa, um, did all of your jewelry arrive with you? I was gonna say which all one. My, that's a great question. All of my jewelry arrived and John actually made me leave some pieces home. Smart, smart. Uh, okay, good. We, uh, we now know your BravoCon plans. I wanna get some behind the scenes scoop, ladies. Um, what advice would you give to your season one self? Some of you have been here longer than others, but season one self, you don't know anything. What would you tell that season one person? Larsa, you want to start? Yeah, I feel like you can always reinvent yourself and don't harp on one bad thing that you say. That's great. I feel like everyone says like crazy things at times that we don't mean. And I feel like, you know, you can reinvent yourself the next day. Well, and Come everyone forgives. Yeah. You're forgiven. You know, this, these people love you. They love you no matter what. Um, who from this panel do you think would make a great addition to your cast? Gina. From this panel, who would make a great uh, housewife of OC? Honestly, any of the ladies here okay. would be phenomenal, but I'm loving Uba's energy. Yeah, yeah. Really we love Uba hot. Uba hot. 
Um, this is a crucial question. Which city has the hottest husbands or boyfriends? Ooh. New York, New York, New York. Atlanta, Atlanta, Jersey. My husband's gorgeous. I would say Dubai. Abe, Abe the babe. I like Dubai too, Lisa. I like Dubai. I think Dubai. Potomac. All you need is Happy yeah, Eddie. Happy, happy Eddie. Eddie. Happy Eddie. <laughs> okay. All you need is Happy Eddie. I mean, we love them all. We love them all. They're all cute. They are all cute in their own ways. Um, does anyone remember, like, their literally first day of filming and how weird it was? Oh, I remember. Go ahead. I remember I went because they said, we're going to film you in the morning waking up and getting the kids ready for school. So I was like, well, my pajamas are so embarrassing. So I, I went to Saks and I bought, like, this, like, white silk nightgown and a robe. <laughs> and I was like, this is literally how I wake up. Oh, and sure. Then, that went right out the window. I never, ever wore it ever again. I was like, I can't, that's way too much work. <laughs> and then so Portia funny. was laying in bed and they had a camera over her and she looked up, she was sound asleep and she looked up and the camera was right here and I thought she was gonna scream and she looked in the lens and she went, hi. <laughs> <laughs> and she wasn't even two years old yet. <laughs> Sonia, what was your first day of, of filming like? So my first day of filming actually was kind of perfect for me because I actually was in the gym. Of right? course so you were. Ross and I were in the gym, and I remember it, we ended up racing Drew and Ralph, which didn't turn out so well for Drew and Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. But it was a lot of fun. Like, my first, my first time filming was fun. I felt like, okay, I could do this. It got a little shaky after that, but the first day was real good. <laughs> yeah. um, another controversial question. Uh, I have thoughts on this. I'm sure you all do, too. How has your style changed since season one? Gina? Oh, okay. well, <laughs> um, I would say, you know what, honestly, it was more like dealing with all my personal stuff that it just wasn't a priority to me. And yeah. now that everything's settled, it's really fun. And I feel like myself yeah. so much more now um, than I did at the beginning. I think it's more trying to maybe, first of all, you don't realize how much freaking clothes you're gonna need yeah it's insane and you don't really even know what you're doing or what you got yourself into yeah. and then as you go it becomes more of a priority you can have fun with it so. it looks fun it looks like you guys have fun dressing up to go to the grocery yeah. store do you i mean yeah. i've seen lisa i've seen chanel in literal ball gowns walking down the street yeah. it's fun right but she doesn't dress well, like sometimes that we have multiple life. changes a day <laughs> yeah. because we'll film something in the morning and in the afternoon and they're like, we don't know if it's going to be in this episode or next episode and you can't look like you didn't change your clothes Yes. a week later. Yes. So we have to bring different clothes. Yeah. Um, a lot of clothing.